Your father works very hard for his money, and you waste it all on records. So it's 10 o'clock in the morning on day two. Yes. We don't expect everybody to be 100% <laughs> today, right now, but probably later. For, the, for your next interview, it'll be fantastic. For this one, uh, my hopes are high. No, okay. <laughs> I think it'll be good. Okay. Yeah. So, so Leif, you've been very busy this year? Yes, yes, and not only this year. Of course, this is our 100 years yeah. anniversary. So that's... Uh, and of course, we always want to do something special. And yeah. the reason 100 is extremely special. So, um, normally we do, normally what normally ever is, but, but we do two cartridges, an MC Century or MC Anniversary and an SPU Anniversary. We've done that the last, well, for the 90, you know, the MCA yeah. 90, this is where this sort so of started Those out. are big moves, you know, the, yeah, yeah. the, the, uh, the 90 and the 95 were two yeah, big yeah. moves. Those yeah. are incredible cartridges. Yeah. So, so we've been, uh, thinking a lot about how to do it for this 100 years anniversary and of course we needed an MC century we will not call it MCA 100 but MC century is something so it makes different yeah, yeah it makes sense so um, we have developed some 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 technologies over the last 10 years so that, that of course we will use again you do not need to do everything from scratch on every card. Right. So exactly. I wouldn't use the word scratch involved in records at all, no, no matter what it is. <laughs> no, no. Oh, we do a lot of scratch uh, card for as well. So. No, no, but, but it's, it's really, it's, um, so, so, so what have we done that I would like to use again? Of course, we have this SLM technology, right. where we make the housing with the SLM technology, you have the possibility to, 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 to build in something into the metal that you cannot do if you made out of a solid beam. So, right. so, so this is one thing. Of course, we do that. And we do it in titanium. We started out A9, so that was uh, stainless steel, but now we are working in titanium. It's it's better working titanium. It's a little bit more. The the, the, the specific mass is a little bit lower, and it's right. more stiff. So so it really has the good properties. Yeah. And if you do those secret things inside uh, cavities, uh, you can put in the damping. So so housing weight this way was a must, of course. Yeah. Um, magnetic system. I developed a new magnetic system for the MC Anna, which is quite good. Why is it quite good? Because it can make a really high flux density in the air gap, which gives me the possibility to go for a non-magnetic armature. Right. And of course I want that, because non-magnetic armatures will give you much more dynamic. So right. go for that. So magnetic system like the MC Anna, the same armature, because it fits, It was everything was designed as, as a sort of one uh, the new cartridge back then, MC Anna, that is, well, is it five years ago. Yeah. yeah. At least. Five yeah. years, yeah. yeah. So, but anyhow, so, so, so that system has been reused. And I'm al already, oh, I, I'm also, also in love with the Replicant 100. Yeah, it's a great stylus profile. I don't yes, know, where, yes. where do you go from there? You know, yeah, I don't know. That, that, that's the question. I've not found out yet, but let's see. And you never yeah. know. But I want to use that. So, 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 so until now, I'm almost been talking about the same same stuff that is in the MC Anna. And the cantilever is bore, still bore on you? No, then, now, now we're getting to the point. Now yeah. we're getting to the point. So, so, and the point is that the cantilever is no longer boron. We've been using boron for all our exclusive cartridges for, for, for years now. Yeah. And it's good. No, no, no yeah, doubt. It's boron is stiff. Good, good. Yeah, yeah, stiff and fairly lightweight and all that kind of stuff. No, we're going for solid diamond. Oh. So, okay. cantilever yeah. is solid diamond. And, uh, there might be some people now uh, reflecting about that, saying, well, well, diamond, specific mass higher than the boron, so it's a higher moving mass, but, but it, it, it really doesn't matter. We, we are down to, to, to very small details. Right. And, and I've heard a couple of cartridges that use that, and it, it, it's good. <laughs> yes, <laughs> no, yes. There's no bad thing about it. No, no, definitely not. And, 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 and um, I have been running prototypes of, of this uh, MC Century uh, cartridge now for one and a half year or something like oh. that. Really for a long time. Because, yeah. And I remember first time I put that on. That was in a MC Anna housing and uh, so the only thing I changed was really the, the cantilever and put it on and you see you cue your record and then you turn around, get back to your seat. And before I sat down, I was sort of frozen. What's going on? Yeah. Back, queuing once again, running back, yeah. sitting down. And, okay, okay, that's good. Listening yeah. for two minutes, rip off the record, new one. Yeah. Two minutes, and then just to find out what, yeah, yeah. what is going on, and then calm down and listen and laugh because it, it yeah, for me, the difference was huge. Yeah. It, it, it really, something happens. Yeah. So, so, but uh, of course, 
They're going to. I hope you're going to review it. I hope so. Oh, well, good. <laughs> we can talk about that plan later. But oh. so, 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 so the sound, I'll leave that to you as usual. But, but I'm happy. I'm really happy. Yeah. And, so, 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 and you also know the Winfeld TI. Um, I was listening to that for months when we were developing that. Right. Uh, I used then continuously with those new cartridges. And at a certain point, well, everything is okay. Yeah. And I had to switch back. And what did I switch back to? One of these prototypes and gain the same feeling. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Then I knew this was not a, an accident or coincidence. Yeah. So, so, so it's, it's, it's really, it's really. And let me ask you this: How successful has, if you want to tell me, has the the Winfeld uh, TI, TI been? Oh, it's good. Good. Yeah. It's it's, it's really selling good. So, so what do you say? In the US, also selling good the Winfeld TI. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I know that they're that they're using it. That SME is using it in their uh, uh, what's it called uh, the uh, synergy. The SME told me last night that that they're using the Winfeld. In oh yeah, but, 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 but uh, well, uh, yeah. Then it's part of a package. It's yes, a yes, package. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, that's cool. That's a nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good package. It's a really good package. Yeah, it's yeah. got a built-in phono preamp. They've never done that before. I'm not seeing it yet. Yeah, I'm I, going to have it. I haven't either. I'm going to go right, right after this. I'm going to go right up there and take a look at that. But that that's kind of good for you guys. Are all over the place. Yes, yes. You designed the cartridge for uh, EAT, that the that green thing. That's really yes, cool. Yes, 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 yeah, yeah. So Joe number five. Yeah, 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 yeah. Specific color. Josefina really wanted to have that color. Yeah. So is we that, had to look for that. It was not that, easy. Is that based on a uh, on a quintet basic? Yes, yes. Thing? Inside is quintet. Yeah, uh, and, and then and then we on the outside. I can show you afterwards. I have some stuff up there. Yeah, yeah. So, so it, it's it's really sort of a modular system. Inside you have the bases, and you can put different motors on it. Right. And outside you can do different housings. So, so sort of a modular build. It's yeah. very good for a customer like EAT, yeah, or project or whoever wants yeah. it. So, Are you so, seeing a lot of OEM work, more OEM work than you've had for a long time? Or? Yeah, there's a lot of people approaching us. Yeah. Definitely, yes, 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 yes. And then we, we are going to make more of that. It's and that keeps you very busy. Uh, at points, yes, 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 and uh, but but it's, it's 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 nice business as well. So, yeah. so But we need to keep it sort of well structured. Yeah. Because we have our own own lines that we want to develop and, and go on yeah. and go on, and then we have this extra thing. So so it has to be very structured in order not to interfere too much in our normal. Exactly. So I'm just I'm just uh, deflecting from this just to build drama and tension. <laughs> okay. So let's let's get, <laughs> let's get to it. So. So this is um, this is it. Does not look much, but it's um, it's very clean looking. It's not dramatic, but it's clean looking. Yeah, I, I, I when I saw the really, I made the lines and had one of our, my engineers uh, draw it and everything. I I liked it, but first time I saw the housing or really the, the raw housing, which I I do have one here. I always always have a little box with stuff. Um, so it was really 10 years ago that you dropped the first A90... Uh, I have some here? Yeah, you dropped it yeah. on the floor. Yeah. That's 10 years ago. Yeah. Oh my God. You see, the first time I saw this and had it in my hand and looked with this finish in, in titanium and I said, okay, yes, nice. It's, it's sort of, I am not say brutal, but it's sort of, uh, it's, it's not, uh, it's, it shows some power. Yeah, but it's an understated uh, Scandinavian clean-looking thing. Right? Yes. Not, yes. Yeah. Yes. And also, you see, if you look from below, you can see the same feature as and on the MC Anna, where you can also see part of the magnetic system. Right. And on the bottom here, we have then the the, the lid, which is a rubber, our own proprietary rubber right. TPE, where we put in again some damping properties in order to control everything that goes on. This is what it's all about. Yep. Control. Yep. All aspects. This is, this is what happens now. So, so housing, the bottom part and look inside again damping in the magnetic system, damping in the uh, well, armature, suspensions and everything. So, so, but not over damping of course. So it's, it's, it's a balance. Control. Yeah, it's very nice looking. So, so it's it's a in an understated way, which I think is, is kind of cool. And the square uh, features make it a little bit easier to to align, probably in some ways. Well, you shouldn't no. align with the body; you should align with it. Yeah, but but uh, the, you, you can use the bottom part of the of the rubber part. It, it's it's, it's yeah. quite good. It's easy easy to align, and I also tried to to, to get the 
so the, the stylus to, to the very front, so it's easy to see. On, on the MC Anna, it is a little bit yeah, drawn yeah. back, but, yeah. but here you have it really clean, following the line down. Yeah. So, so I, I've been using these lines sort of to, 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 to tell what this is all about. And the stylus guard just is not like a, an, a, an acquired uh, skill. <laughs> no, it's it's uh, this is also 3D print stylus guard. And it snaps on. It snaps on. Yeah. yeah. So so it's important. I really think it's important if someone's spending a lot of money on a car that they can yeah. protect it from the cat and the cleaning woman easily <laughs> yes. when they leave the room. No, and it's just quite easy to snap on and also still it sort of looks nice because I've kept the lines. Yeah. So, yeah. Is it going to be packaged in any, in any kind of... Uh... Yes, I do not have that here. Uh, you can, if you look outside, you can have an idea how it's going to look. We're going for a new line of packaging for those Century products we're going to present. I have two more products I want to show you. Okay. We're having those three central products. Um, and all of them is going coming in, in similar looking boxes. White. White with 100 years anniversary logo and autofront. Small one for the Concorde, bigger one for the SPU and the biggest one for the MC. So it's so if you want the whole series you can line them up as right. you would like to. And uh, do we have a projected price on this one? This one will be 10,000 euros. That's what I figured it would be. Yeah. It's limited to 100 pieces. Oh, yes. Wow. So it's uh, we. Um, Why would you do that? Because 100 years, 100. Pieces. Okay, but you know, you could say we're celebrating 100 years with 200 pieces. Yes, <laughs> I know, no, but no, we are really. Um, um, it's a. Uh, yes, there's, there's a lot of thoughts about uh, around this. But then you could take this technology and make another cartridge that's not a limited edition. Exactly. And then you'll have, this will be one of these collector's things for people. I, I get it. Sure, I sure. Guess. Something like that is a way of looking at it. Also that it's a, looking at uh, how well we have been selling the, the 95 and the anniversary cartridges. Yeah. We might have made too many of those, so we would like to, to, to sort of scale down. Yeah. And, and we have talked about maybe 200, but then it's, it's, it's expensive. I'm sure. So, so 100, oh, 10,000 euros, so, so. Yeah. So but you know, we've, re we've crossed that barrier uh, a couple of years ago. I know, yeah, yeah. That's and there's more and more in the 12,000, 10,000, 12,000. Yeah, 12, yeah more. and even more, I guess. Yeah. yeah, and they can't make them fast enough at this point. They it's, can't make them. No, no, but, but of course I agree with you. I'm always looking ahead. I, I need to look ahead. Yeah, it's my job. Of course, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It's, so, so, so and, and of course I'm thinking about the design of the next one. And are there are there uh, part of the technology that's in this that you can bring to a lower price point eventually? Or is this uh, one of these things where it is what it is because of what's involved? No, there's nothing in here that will go lower. Yeah. So, so there we have to uh, stick to what's inside. Binfeld, TI, MCA95. That, that, that is sort of the limit of the step below. Yeah. And going a step lower, then you are down in the cadence. Yes. So, 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 so it's, it's, it's difficult. It's difficult. But so. could you add the diamond to uh, to a Windfeld to make a TI diamond version? Mm, would no, not, would no, make no, sense? no, no, no. I don't think so. I don't yeah. think so. That that will also make it quite expensive. The, yeah. the, this this cantilever diamond, solid diamond, is it's expensive. I'm sure it's, it's it is. not. It's, yeah. it's really expensive. It's made out of a solid piece yeah. of diamond, and then it's machined to get the shape, laser machines. And uh, are there any OOPS versions where they, they break up on the way to making them? No, so they no not, not any more than, less than uh, with a boron, uh, boron can. No, 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 yeah. it's quite, it's quite. This is also why I, I wanted to, to have a test prototype running for a long, long, long time. Yeah, yeah, make sure it doesn't break. A new material at a the very, very critical point in the cartridge. I do not want that 50 of those in half a year will come back with broken there. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that would be bad, really yeah, bad. Of course it is. No, but it is it's very stable. And diamond, yes, it, no, it's not brittle. It, 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 it's really hard. Yeah. But you have the crystal structure. Right. And this is what makes a difference. This is not a more, this is, this is not like a normal piece of whatever boron or metal. This is crystal piece. Right. It's crystalline. Yeah. And, and, and so, so, so the connection between the stylus and the armature is, wow, it's, it's just, it's just better. No doubt. So now it's not as if you're machining the cantilever and the stylus out of a, out no. of a diamond. No, no, no. There's a there's a laser cut hole in the cantilever and the no at the end. It's attached to the end. Of yes, it. yes. Yeah. As, as we normally do it. No. One second, I think. Is it the same kind of adhesive? Uh, yes. As with the boron. So, but but the, the adhesive between the 
my record. The adhesive between the cantilever and the stylus. This is in fact in scale. So, 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 so this is normally you have 0 0.3 millimeters, and this is what is this? This is uh, 15. Oops, I don't remember, but anyhow. That's a big thing. I love that. That's yeah. So, cool. so, but anyhow, so, so in between the stylus and the end of the cantilever, the amount of glue adhesive or whatever we call it is as little as possible because that is not what's going to hold it. That's only going to, to fix it until you put this glob of glue around it. This oh. is not on this one, but you put a glob of glue around it to really keep it in right. place. So, so we have the best possible, at the moment, best possible connection between the stylus and the cantilever. But no, but this, this is really to scale. This is also, this is a mono record. <laughs> so, and, and, and this is then how it goes. Right. That's it. Yeah. So, so this is also what I show people. This is the impossible thing we're doing. And, and these grooves are really low frequency grooves. So thinking about coming with a tool like this, and you need to go into grooves, which will be microns. Yeah. Uh, on this scale, still it will be microns. Yeah. How do you do that? How do you... But this is what we're doing. So, so, so uh, we're almost doing the impossible thing. Uh, exactly. The, the music comes out of this whole thing is incredible. Yes. That yes. you can you have that one stylus and one groove and get a symphony to come out so in, three, how, in three dimensions. How, how do you do it? It's crazy. Yes, it's crazy, but it's, it's fun. This is good to show people. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't want to try to get through a TSA with that in my bag. No, 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 no. Hey, what is that <laughs> thing? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> so this, no, it's, but it's fun. It's good to show. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, but anyhow, it's it's um, <clears throat> there's a lot of thoughts we can give this, but I, I'm happy about it, and uh, that's important. I think we've been working on it for a long time, as you see, prototypes for one and a half years. It's uh, yeah. And that is a rejected part. Okay, I'll just take that. <laughs> why, why why was it rejected? Oh, it's it's not centered perfectly, yeah. and some of the machining is not perfect as yeah. well. So so there are some minor things and of course then they would be numbered on top laser engraved right. on top and so what's the output of this point two is it yes 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 so so it's, it's low output and uh, we are um, I need to run a few more of these uh, we, we made a pre-production run 10 pieces just yeah. uh, last week right and now we are evaluating those 10 pieces so there are some dates that's already available, but I, I want to evaluate all 10 to yeah. make sure that the data we put out are, are the right ones. And so so uh, we we're running the tracking force at 2.6 at the moment. So right. This would probably be around that, but yeah. let's see. But that's, um, and the uh, internal impedance is very low. It's, it's uh, down to, what? It, yes, very low. It's five, 5 ohms, I think. 5 ohms. Yeah, 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 yeah. but it's still fairly low. So it would really work well with a current amplifier-based phono preamp. Which is what yes. I like. Yes. So I, I use, uh, I've been using a step up transformer yeah. for, for a long time, and yeah. it, that, it likes a step up transformer yeah. really a lot. That's good too. Yeah, yeah. So, so the load is different on the cartridge, it's very different. So I have different load in the, at the low frequencies compared to the high frequencies, and, and, and an MC is, is quite happy about that. Yeah. So, but yeah. Also, good preamps can do the job. I'm yep. sure. No problem. Right. Okay. Uh, upstairs, when we're going upstairs, I'm using an Einstein uh, phone preamp, which also is quite good. With the new, the newest little one? Oh, or the, or the no, the, the, this book, which comes in two boxes. I do not remember. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The original one was a cylinder. I yes, one I, I have one of those as yeah. well. I like that. Those. That's good too. Yeah, 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 I own that for yeah. quite some time. Yeah. So, okay, but th this is uh, the top piece. Right. That's MC it. Century. Okay. But we have two other cartridges I would like to show you. Okay. So let's get this one. Put it away. Yes. So no damage happens. So let's take this one. This is an SPU box. And, and this is a real prototype now. This is a real prototype. Uh, the MC will be out in at the customers within two months. So, uh, so we are starting up production uh, one month from now. We'll produce the first 50 pieces. 
and then the next 50 one month later. I suppose they're going to get scooped right up by the collectors. I think most of them are sold now. Really? Beforehand. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, but, yeah, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's nice. Yeah, so, but anyhow, this, 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 this is quite good. And But we have those uh, 10 pieces ready from the pre-production run, and if you agree, one of those will come to you as a review cartridge. Great. So, I will review it at home myself, yeah. just to check out if I agree that it will be sent to you, and if I agree, you'll get it, I'll send it to Louis and Dee, and then they will okay. give it to you, it's okay. Within two, within two weeks, I guess, you will have it. Oh, that sounds good to me. Okay. Okay. Good. I'm good okay. With that. Yeah. okay. But anyhow, so, so this one will be out in October. This is SPU, so we're talking Japan. Right. And Japan, well, there are a lot of things happening at, at, in the hi-fi market in the fall in, in Japan. You know, Tokyo Auto Show, which is in November this year. Oh. Yeah, well, mid-November. That's yeah, I don't think I'm going this year. Oh, I'll go. I went last year. I'll go next year. Yeah. Then. I was at the Osaka show last year. That was interesting. Okay, but anyhow, let's go on to this one. So, let's take the housing first. You, you see, it's very... If I hold it like this, can you see the shape? What it looks like a little bit? Uh, I'm not sure what you're going for. No, there. no, no. It, it's sort of a half of a... Oh, it's like a cello. Yeah, something like or that. Or a guitar. Any, Whatever. Some sort of, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, so. Or a violin. Yeah, I get Whatever. it. So, okay. I like the look. It took me a while to yeah, get it, but yeah, that's, but okay. that's okay. Yeah. On top, aluminum housing, uh, made by SLM process. So the same process used to make the, 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 the housing. So for that's the totally end. different. Usually they, those are made out of like, like a plastic or a phenolic that, or something? Yeah, something like that. So, yeah. so, 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 so grinded wood with some kind of resin and right. then pressed into shape. Yeah. So, so this is very different, but back the SPU was also back in the good old days made out of aluminum housing and oh. also magnesium aluminum alloys. So, so this is a, maybe a sort of a step back to where we came from. But anyhow, aluminum with the, the, the SLM process, so again, the possibility to build in some kind of damping at certain points. Yeah. The bottom, that's wood, that's real wood, that's Danish wood. Oh. Danish wood, which has been uh, stabilized, it's been dried, and then you stabilize it by, by putting it into vacuum, and then you pump so some, so some, some thermoplastic uh, to really stabilize it. And this has been into the pores of the yes, wood? Yes, right. yes, so, so, so then you can machine it without getting cracks. Right. So this has been machined at our factory in Naxkov. So we do that ourselves. Uh, inside, going to the interiors, you have, we have the, the, the generator, the, the module inside. is what we call a classic SPU module, which has been first introduced, uh, what are we, 60 years ago. Wow. So it's almost the same, minor changes, but the same as 60 years ago. But the major change, apart from the housing, aluminum, wood, the major thing is really the stylus. I've chosen a Shibata stylus for this one. Shibata can have a very good sound. Yes. Very, very, very good sound. Oh, yeah. Also critical in alignment and everything, yeah. but, but if, if you get the sweet spot, it sings. That's right. Yeah. And it, it fits the, 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 the sound of the SPU very well. SPU, yeah, yeah, yeah now you have listened to SPUs. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so this is a modern kind of SPU. Yeah. I think there was a... Douglas talked about coming to the show. He's here. He is here. He's here, yeah. So I, I need to meet him. He's not looking at anything that was made before, uh, <laughs> after 1945, I think. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just yeah. kidding. Yeah, yeah, I know. So, but I think he would be happy to see oh, this. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he would love that. So, but anyhow, it, it, it's, it's a modern kind of SPU, but, but, but we're still keeping the SPU spirit, the SPU sound. So, so, so you are no, you, no doubt that this is an SPU when you hear it, but you have some something more, something extra. Compared. And that could go right into a, uh, like the arm of the, uh, of the Technics uh, sure. sure. SL1000R. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. But again, prototyping, we have, have one running up in the, in the room. You will hear it, uh, so it's an interesting cartridge. And that's not limited edition. Yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> limited. 200, 250 pieces. But those will be snapped up too, I'm sure, in Japan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe it, it's going to be the a bit expensive compared to, to, to normal SPUs. The, the price point is not fixed yet, but we are around uh, five thousand euros, which is quite expensive for an SPU. Yeah. But again, there's also some well expensive parts going to the cartridge. Sure. So. 
but it's uh, it's interesting. So, yeah. so I'm, I'm pretty sure that uh, the SPU lovers would like to have one of those. Add to their add to their arsenal. Yeah, of course. You have a collection, SPU collection. Yep. And then the last one. Which is now coming to a moving magnet. So this is um, reintroducing the Concorde as a hi-fi Concorde, right? As opposed to a DJ. disc jockey. Yeah. yeah. So 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 at, at the press conference in Denmark, approximately 40 years ago, that was for the 60th anniversary for Autophone. They, they introduced a cartridge that was not named yet. They showed it, it was not on the market, it was called the ULM60, an ultra low mass with universal connector. It was only shown in black. Right. Later that came to be known as the Concorde, the year after, in 79, it came to the market, but it was shown in 79, uh, 78, sorry, at this press conference. Yeah. So, so 40 years ago, the press first saw this one. So now we have a hi-fi cartridge again, very shiny looking, uh, it's, it's really showing off that this is not a DJ cartridge. Right. Is there some relationship between that and the OM10 kind of? Uh, back then, uh, we had the, 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 uh, the, the, the stylus, it's the same, yeah. so they're interchangeable. Yeah. So, so the Concorde, and back then it was the LM cartridge, right. was introduced at the same time, and then at a certain point the LM which is a half inch, went to the OM. But, 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 but stylus is interchangeable. And you can pop that right out of there too? You can pop that stylus yeah, out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Same thing. So, maybe sticks a little bit. Don't we wish that moving coils could be done that way too, don't we? Oh, but they, they, they can. Autophone has made that. You know the MC100, MC200? Oh, that's right. Yeah, you could. Yeah, 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 yeah. But anyhow, it, I will not do it now because it, it, this this is a prototype. Right. So, so, but anyhow, it, it's it's stylus interchangeable. But inside this one, we have put uh, parts which are quite closely related to the two M bronze. So, so we have a, a a fine line diamond, which plays fairly well, I would say. We have the same kind of, of, of uh, wire, which is now the silver-plated uh, copper wire in, in the coils. The suspension is a little bit stiffer on this one if you compare to the 2M bronze. So we are running at a tracking force of 1.8. Mm -hmm. but, but this is it's, it's, it's really a, a good car. So it, you, you, you really get... It's a lot of fun listening to it. Yeah. A lot, many, many moving magnets are really fun listening to, but then if you hear a moving coil after what you can hear what you're missing. Right. But, but if you don't hear that, that, then for many people this is yes. what you need. Yeah, I'm always surprised when I try a, a good moving magnet card. Yeah. It's got a lot of guts. Yes, yes. And th this is also what you have here. Yeah. So, so, so this is what we say, it's, it's, it's good for all kinds of music. It's, it's really... Uh, it's going to sell well, I, I suppose so. And there's a large community of people that can put that right into their yes. arms and yes. they're ready to go. It's going to be limited 1,000 pieces as well. And what is that going to cost? You know? Oh, 500, 600 euros, something like that. Yeah. I'm, I'm, but that's around the point. Yeah. Yeah. But it pops right in all over the place where you have the universal connector. Yeah. It's, um, we'll, uh, at, the, at the demonstration, we will use it in the TA210, 12 inch autophone arm. Yeah. It runs perfectly in that one. Yeah. Those arms are made in Japan? Or? Yes, yes, yes. They're made in Japan. And do you say who makes those for you? Or? Yeah, yeah, guess. I could guess who makes yes, them. Yes, Jelko. Jelko, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We have a very good relationship to Jelko for yeah. many, many, many years. Yeah. So, so they make this special for us, and uh, the bearing are then special made for us, and of course the shape, and uh, I have damping in the arm tube and so yeah. that stuff. So, yeah. so th this, is, this is an autophone arm, but of course people who know Jelko can see that it's but right. I, I don't have any problems. No, that. No, no. no, obviously they make they make really good things and yeah, they can do it. reasonably priced too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, okay. so these are the three products. Well, that's must have kept you busy for quite some time. Yeah, but again, 100 years is something. It is. Sure. It's amazing, and it's amazing that after 100 years we're still playing records and more popular than ever. And like I said yesterday, the yes. record store day in America. They sold 800,000 records in yeah. one day, and most of those were sold in uh, independent record stores. 
Nice. Is nice. 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 So in other words, the whole Record Store Day idea proved itself this year. If, I don't know how many years they've been doing that now, but however many years they've been doing it, it keeps growing every year. Yes. It brings people into the record stores, it supports the independent record stores, and it, whatever it set out to do, it's achieved 100%. It's, it's fantastic. It's a good job, yeah. No, but, but records are special. You can see, you, you can take an old 78 records, made 70 years ago, yeah. whatever, you can put it on your turntable with the right stylus. Yeah. Place. And it plays, which is whereas the, the Super Audio CD player I have, which is a very expensive one from Sony, yes. uh, it, it's got it, you know it, it only will play it only recognizes the CD layer of a, of a hybrid SACD. It will not play the SACD layer, okay. and they don't make replacement laser pickups for it. Okay. They don't, and that's just outrageous. Yeah, the this that you can play something made 70 years ago and, and st still are producing something, what other media have ever done that? That's of right. course, book. Yeah, book. Yes, and yes. it'll sound better than ever now. That's yes, the yes. thing, it's better yes. than ever. Yeah, that's, so, that's amazing. Yeah, so we were, we were on the right path. Yes, of course we are. <laughs> and they, I'm telling you, records, if you play them back properly, do not wear out. No, no. They don't. No. I'm going to put a video up on my YouTube channel. Yes. The Who's Tommy. I bought the original British pressing the day it came out. That's got to be fi almost 50 years now, yeah. and I've played that record a lot. I love that record, and I'm going to make. A, I'm going to record that yeah. and put the video up so people can listen to a, a, a worn-out 50-year record. The top end is all there on that record. It's on that record better than the condition of the tape right now. I bet you, and and it still sounds fantastic. That's good. Yeah, but but again, it's, it's my first record was uh, made in Japan by Deep Purple. Yeah, but this is 45 years ago now. Yeah, and I played that a lot. Really a lot back then. I'm sure. It's still playing it and well, no, no problem. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So that's it. Right, we Take care of your stuff. Over you time you time. can make you can prove your point over time. That's yes. right. <laughs> okay, so are we are we done? Yes, I would say so. Um, I can show you this this stuff with the OEM if you wanna see it, just for fun. Sure. So these are just for showing people what possibilities there are. So, so, so this is not uh, the sort of the uh, how the real 3D print will look, but 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 our approach to to OEM will be that we are talking to people. They want an MC OEM cartridge, so we can propose some some different designs and then talk to them about in what direction do they want to go. So and this looks like uh, the EAT. Yes, I also have the EAT somewhere so that you can uh, yeah. Did you see Josephina's jewelry uh, thing that she hanged that, with no. the, di the diamond crusted jewelry case no, no. for it? You didn't see that? No, no. So, this is the first time in the hi fi market that somebody produced this uh, beautiful cartridge cover out of the gold oh. and uh, six carat. Uh, six carat diamonds in the best quality. <laughs> so, this is. Yeah. Yeah, I love that color. It's a yeah. So in fact, this, this housing is quite good. It, it, it's 3D printed. It's made out of polyamide, and and, and it's, it's it has some good properties. You, you just want to eat this thing for some reason. The <laughs> color of it. Yeah, organic somehow. Yeah. No, but but anyhow, so, so 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 this this is the real material for the 3D printed OEM housings. This is just made on our own 3D printer to, to talk to people. Is this the kind of design right. you want or this right. or a little bit more conservative or round? And it, how much variability is there in the uh, in the mechanical part of it that people can... Inside. Can, yeah, order. Can they? Well, inside, of course, we have the possibility to, to, to use all the different quintets inside. Right. Red, blue, bronze, black. But, but we can also do variations on that because it's really... It is, it's really modular made. So, so if you have a look, it's, um, so, so th th this is sort of without stylus and everything. But 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 this is really sort of a modular piece. You have a aluminum piece, then you put the motor, and then you can decide on what kind of a uh, coil, armature, cantilever, right. stylus do you want. And then afterwards, this one then pops into here. Then you have the cartridge. 
So how practical would it be to offer something like this to customers directly, where, no. where they can come and order the particular one they want? <laughs> it's not practical. No. I'm, no, just, no. I'm just thinking out loud, yeah. which is no. not always a good idea. No, no, no it, 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 we want to keep track on what's going on. Yeah. So we want to be able to test them if the, the quality is right and everything right. before shipping. Yeah. If, if you allow this to be done by third part or whatever, then yeah. there's a lot of uh, possibilities that things can go wrong. Right. But, but, but this, this is sort of a modular thing, so it's easy for, for, for people to talk about, well, I would like something like the two uh, quintet blue, and, but different housing, and then we discuss it, and this is the shape, and then if you go into to, to, to coloring, of course, this is uh, Josephina's. But, but so nobody else can use that color? No, no. That's her. So, so you can go for something, or, or something red, or right. black, or... Candy, it's like candy. Yeah, as you see, there's a lot of possibilities. Yeah. So, 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 when we talk to people, so, so we, we can quite, if you were working on a computer with this, yeah. 3D modeling, it would take forever. Yeah. This is much faster, they are sitting around looking, this is nice, this is nice. Then this next question, what kind of color, mm, I do not know. Then you put this one on the table and find something like this. So these are all exercises in, in uh, style more than in, in uh, mechanical substance though, yes, right? Yes, 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 yes. So these different shapes, will they produce different sounds? To no, 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 that would be so, so small yeah. changes. Yeah. No, 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 not really. But, but it's, it's, a good, it's, it's a good concept, it's easy for, 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 yeah. for our customers to, to, to understand and, it, and we can move quickly. Right. But because you don't add this 3D print, so you do not need to make some kind of injection molding on this part. Right. You just get it printed, paint it. At the but same each time, one has to be done individually. You have to print these one at a time. Right? No. No? No, no. They, they, they can print many at the time. I mean, they, they, it's, it's programmed into the, into the device, and they push a button, and it doesn't have to do one at a time. And it's, no? Uh, it's a, no. It, it's a, so, so you make a platform of these. So at the same time, in, the, in one layer, you could put maybe 50 of these. Oh. So make one layer, and then one layer, and then one layer, so you can really get a big matrix out of it. I then see. you have to clean it and everything, but, but oh, this is quite efficient. Oh. That's cool. Yeah. Also, when we are printing those uh, uh, metal housing, they've also been printed on some kind of heavy metal platform. They print uh, 50 pieces on the oh. platform. It takes a long time. Right. But, but they are printed on this platform and then they have to be removed and everything, but it's yeah. it's not one at a time. So it's it, it's good technology. Yeah. It's 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 only gonna make get better over time and get faster yeah, sure, sure. and less expensive. It, it grows extremely fast at the moment. So yeah. so airplane industry for spare parts is, is really a big big thing with yeah. the metal 3D print and of course everything in the med the medical business. Yeah. If you are missing a part inside your body, whatever almost, or in the teeth. I can think of a few parts that could Use some enhancement. Did I just say that? No, but it's 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 it's, it's a future. Yeah. So and, and and we are really working very closely together with this this uh, this company. Yeah. And, and they are they want to do this. It's it's a showcase for them. Yeah. And you're still uh, involved in, in elastomer development and production for like the medical industry. Because when I visited the last yes, time. Yes. 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 So so we are. It's, it's still a good business for us. Yeah. I, I I'm not personally doing it. This right. we have an engineer now who's really a specialist yeah. in this kind of elastomers. And it's, uh, yeah. But some of that's needed for the for the suspensions in the cartridges, right? Yes, sure. Has there been development in that area at all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've, we've been uh, making some new stuff over the time, and uh, because sometimes we are forced to do it, because some of the ingredients you cannot get anymore. Right. But that is also a good thing. Then you're forced to look into what do we have, what possibilities do we have today. Yeah. So, so for the 2M cartridges, which we sell a lot of, we are making uh, suspensions. I know we won't be here, but are you thinking for the 200th anniversary, uh, they'll, st <laughs> they'll still be making cartridges and people will still be playing records? Oh, uh, that's a little bit far ahead, I think. But yes, some, I people, hope so. some people will still be yeah. doing it. Yeah. No, it's more fun to look 10 years ahead than 20 years ahead. Yeah, huh? 10 years ahead isn't, isn't so much fun for me, actually. No, 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 I agree, I agree. So, but anyhow, it's, 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 it would be interesting to follow us. Yeah, yeah. And also the marketing, what is going to happen? 
Yeah, it's still growing. Yeah, I know. It's uh, where it ends. I don't know because everybody thought, okay, it's going to be a little bit of a bump, but it just keeps going, and it's yeah. not a fad anymore. No, no, no. And no, it's no. not. It, it's it's a sustainable, uh, growing thing. Yeah. So I will be back here in ten years, and I know how the conversation will go. I will be. Hey, Charlie, what's happening here yeah. in the, in the quadrant? <laughs> I can't hear anymore, but speak loud. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's not the case. No, yeah, but, 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 but one of the things we have to, to, to develop now is some kind of um, hearing aid to yeah. people like us. Yeah. That, so that we can continue listening to that's what That's right. We, and you know, I'll tell you, I had a guy, my, my wife had a, a, a dog show meeting at her house, and, mm. and some woman came over with her husband who was like 85. And he had hearing aids on both sides, but very sophisticated hearing aids. And he wasn't an audiophile, but I said, why don't you, I'm just curious, would you come down to my listen? I want you to sit in a chair, I want to play a record, I want you to tell me what you hear. And he had never heard a really good stereo. And he, what he said after listening was the same thing as anybody without a hearing aid would say. He said, wow, I can hear each instrument separated in three-dimensional space. I, I, you know, I can follow the bass line, I can, you know, he heard everything. Yeah, I, I, one of the companies that we are um, working to work together with in the hearing aid business, I, I know that the R&D manager quite well, and he is also sort of into listening to music, but his hearing is getting really bad, so yeah. now he's using some of their own high-end hearing aids, and he says, wow, it makes a difference. Yeah. But of course, there are limitations to what they can do. Right. But, but this thing about developing a hearing aid specific for people who want to listen to hi-fi. Yeah. And the thing is, we are not losing the hearing below whatever 10K or 8K. We are keeping that unless you get some kind of ill right. or sickness right. or damage it. Right. So, so what we need is an enhancement from 8K to 20K right. or to 15K right. or whatever. And a lot of people have notches in the mid-range. They do have notches in the yes, mid-range. Yes. That's what seems to be... But, but, but that, that's not so much age-related, is it? Man, most age-related things are sort of a roll-off. I, right. I think that's related to too much loud music, but that's another problem yeah, yeah, that a lot that, of us have. <laughs> but you know, I think if a hi-fi company were smart enough to get involved in this now and market uh, a hearing aid and come up with a different name for it so it doesn't have a stigma, and attach it to a name like Orifon or some other company that's exactly. a high-end company, there'll be a lot of business in there that could be in the next yeah. 10 years.